MD stood for medical detective, and maybe things would have gone differently. Um, but people were always shocked at how much time our father would spend with them when he'd come to the clinic. And the deal was he had to get to know you. And as he wrote, there was a book at one point, Your Cure for Cancer, that there is no one cure for cancer. He does not treat conditions, he treats people. And everyone is different. So he really got to know people, which was really nice. And the funny thing is, he would look at your blood, he would know everything about you, and then when you walked out the door, he would forget it all immediately. He was very good at doing this. And uh, yeah, it's funny when people would come up and be like, hey, Dr. B, remember my thing? And he would be like, no, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> and he was famous, he would walk out to greet the client, and he would shake their hand, and you could tell by their hand whether they were sweaty or not, whether they were sympathetic or parasympathetic. And then he would follow them to the office and watch the way they walked, so we'd watch their structure at that point in time. So he taught me a few of these things, and what a lot of you don't know is I had mirrors set up so I could watch people walk in from outside. And we, have a, we had a few clients, who are not here today, who would walk up to the door. As they opened the door, they'd start to limp. <laughs> so he said, just watch the client, you can figure out a lot. Dad knew you very well. And he would always say, there's no secrets in the blood. Uh, and I think a couple of things that I think are important with him, the quote that I'm running with at this point is, health is simple, people are complicated. This was something Dad believed. Life gets really interesting, keep things simple. Align the car, remove the blocks, and get some joy. So there are things you guys really can do to keep yourselves in check as much as possible. Um, any other things that you can remember off the top of your head that are important as far as, I don't know, I don't know. How many things can you think of? Um,